Hey y'all, in this video we're going to be talking about why your pandas data frame might be using a bit more memory usage than you want it to, why it's doing this, and a couple of quick solutions to fix it. Alright, so I want to start with the baseline so we can see just how much memory you might be wasting in your data frame. I have this super simple code here where I'm just reading in a CSV and then displaying the information using this memory usage equals d parameter, which basically just says give me the actual memory usage of the data frame instead of an estimate. So if we take a look at the output, we can see that this data frame has 14 columns. We can see the different D types or data types of each column. And if we go to the end, we can see that this data frame is using just shy of 500 megabytes of memory. So that's our starting point, And I want to see just how low we can get that with a couple of tips and tricks. So my first tip is incredibly simple, but you'd be surprised how many people still are not using it. Let's say that I really only care about analyzing three of these data columns. In that instance, I just wasted a bunch of memory because I read all 14 data columns into my data frame. So instead, what we would want to do is specify exactly which columns we care about when we read in the CSV. We can do that using this use calls parameter in the read CSV method. In this case, I am specifying item type, order priority, and units sold as the columns I'm going to read in. And I'm not going to read any other columns in because I don't want any unnecessary memory usage for data that I don't care about. So if we take a look at this output, we can see that we shrunk the memory usage from 500 megabytes to 125 megabytes. So that's pretty intuitive, right? This isn't really a complicated concept that I'm reading in about a fifth of the columns. And as a result, I have about a fifth of the memory usage. But it's so simple and so quick that I had to mention it because it's such an easy way to just cut down on memory right off the bat. So y'all should be using this any chance you can get. My next tip is a little bit more in depth and requires some knowledge of your data set. So let's take a little bit deeper look at this D-type information. How does pandas even figure out what the data type of your column is? Basically, when you call the read CSV method, pandas will read each column in its entirety to figure out what sort of data is in there. And this can be pretty costly because essentially pandas has to consume a data, data set's entire memory just to figure out what that data type could be. Now, the way to alleviate this is to pass in the D type parameter in the read CSV method. And this will specify exactly what those data types are. So that way pandas won't waste a bunch of memory trying to figure it out. So to see this in action, let's take a look at the data viewer for the DF use calls. If we take a look at this first column, the item type, this really is just a bunch of strings. We don't really know all the different types they could be. So a string object is really the most appropriate data type. The second column, the order priority, might also look like a bunch of variable strings to you right off the bat. But I know that my order priority only ever takes the form of H, M, or L for high, medium, or low priority. So there's really a finite set of values that this column can have. As such, that makes it the perfect candidate for the category data type. And the category data type takes up a bunch less memory than the string data type. So we want to use that at any time possible. Now my last column is units sold. Now we could just keep this as an int 64, but I know that my units sold never top 10,000. So really int 64 gives me a larger number space than I really need to work with. An int 16 data type will really do the job to making sure that we have enough memory to accommodate for the type of data we're expecting here. So now if I go into the notebook, we can see what that D type parameter looks like in action. I have the same call where I'm still using the use calls, but now I have an addition of this D type parameter where I'm setting the item type as a string type, order priority as category, and unit sold as int 16. So now if we run this, let's see how much we have compressed from 125 megabytes. So if we take a look at this, we actually cut it down basically in half to 65 megabytes, which is awesome because by just using two quick column tricks, we went from 500 megabytes to 125 megabytes to 65 megabytes. And just in that last step from going to something as simple as a string to a category data type and in 64 to in 16, we cut our usage in half. So use these tips to stop wasting so much memory in your data frames. There you have it. It's really not too difficult to start reducing your pandas data frame memory usage. We looked at how something as simple as specifying exactly which columns you want to import and then their corresponding data types can significantly reduce the amount of memory used. And these were just a couple of quick steps that you can start to take. So tell us, what tricks do you use to help cut back on this memory usage? Let us know in the comments. But wait, if you like this video, then do us a favor and actually hit that like button. While you're at it, might as well subscribe too. We post a lot of other great content about Python, Jupyter Notebooks, and all things VS Code. Happy coding!